Finally tonight, our Making It Here report takes us to Ashfield and Elmer's General Store. In 2005, when Nan Parati relocated from New Orleans to Ashfield and bought Elmer's, she knew enough to leave the name the same, but wasn't exactly sure what the store should be. What the town didn't have was a breakfast restaurant, so Elmer's became that, but it also blossomed into a whole lot more. I was here on vacation. It was summer of 2005, which is very important to the story. I thought, this is going to be a whole new adventure. What's going to happen? Who knows what will happen? Who knew what was going to happen? So I took off. I come up to visit Anna. Her husband passes away. I stay a lot longer than I had intended to. It's August 28, 2005. I'm going back to New Orleans. It's Hurricane Katrina. It takes out a big part of New Orleans, including my house. I mean, my house was still standing, but it, was, it, it wasn't livable anymore. And so everything I owned, I had with me here at that point. And I thought, well, I guess I live in Ashfield now. I don't have a house to go back to. And so Elmer's was for sale. It had been for sale for three years. I'd never been in the restaurant business in my whole life, but I thought, that'd be fun. How hard could that be to have a restaurant? That'd be, that'd be fun. And it is a lot more work than I thought, but it is still a lot of fun. Ashfield is cool. Ashfield has always been home to lots of writers, artists, musicians, always, since the very, very beginning. A town like Ashfield, this small, right now we have 1,700 people who live here. Lots and lots of people come here, they kind of show up and they go, oh, I'm going to live here. I don't even know why. Being from the South, and from Louisiana in particular, and also I've worked on festivals. I worked for the Jazz Fest in New Orleans, and I've done that for 30 years now. So I, I kind of knew how to show people a good time. And I also knew, I knew about good food, being from the South. And so we started to serve them breakfast. And we make great breakfast. And people come from all over for our breakfast. Nan's pancakes have put us in Yankee Magazine because they're so famous. And people have tried to get the recipes from us forever. And nobody will ever give them up. <laughs> Nan makes young people look like they're standing still. Nan runs circles around everybody. She has so much energy and she's always so smiling and so happy and just brightens everyone, all the customers' days when, when they come in and Nan is here. It's like, a, it's like a welcoming committee, like they all come in and they want to know where Nan is and Nan, Nan really makes all the people feel really welcome at Elmer's. I used to own a bakery and restaurant in New York and when I closed it, one of my friends told me that Elmer's was looking for a baker. I came and interviewed for the job with Nan and uh, decided that I wanted to be the, the baker here at Elmer's store. One of the things I wanted to do when I opened Elmer's was to have it be a place where we could have local, a lot of local stuff besides just breakfast, besides just food. So we have a local crafts gallery. A lot of the artists who live here in Asheville are represented in New York and Boston. Their work sells for tens of thousands of dollars and yet they live here in Asheville. I think that's a big part of running a restaurant. You have to be really, really happy to be doing it and happy to serve your food. Even though I don't do the cooking, I have a chef who does the cooking, but it makes me so happy to have him here, have his expertise here, and to be able to share. It's like having a big party every day. Nan is a very excitable and vibrant person. She has a lot of energy. Since I've just, I'm just really starting to get her know, to know her now, because she actually, when she hired me, she went back to New Orleans for a couple of months, so we're, we're starting to get along. We're starting to see eye to eye. Kitchen guys are tough. We're not easy like the front of the house people. To me, the thing that makes Elmer's fun is I just like seeing the people. I like seeing people come in, smile, have a good time, get together. We don't have cell phone service here in Nashville, which actually I like. So when people come to Elmer's, they sit and they talk to each other. They're not on their phones. And I really, really, really like that. It's people coming up with great ideas and, and doing it here in Nashville. And I love that about Nashville.